A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Tuesday, August 22nd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The State Public Service Commission is planning to hold two virtual public hearings on September 12th and 20th to gain input on Central Hudson Gas and Electric Corporation's proposed electric and natural gas rate increases, but one area state lawmaker wants that modified. Assemblyman Jonathan Jacobson would like residents to have an opportunity to address their concerns in person. When you have a in-person hearing, it makes a different impact uh, than just virtual uh, hearing. And also to have one of the public hearings in person, either in Newburgh or Poughkeepsie, which both are central to the central Hudson service area and are a base of large populations. Jacobson is opposed to the rate increases in general, given the utilities' massive billing problems when they converted to a new system. The state inspector general's office is supposed to appoint a monitor to oversee all actions of the Orange County Industrial Development Agency by August 1st or shortly thereafter. IDA Executive Director Bill Fiervanti expects that appointment to be coming shortly. Uh, I do expect that it's because they're doing their best to make sure they, they really do a great job with this, that it's someone that is informed, that's educated and experienced in this area, that's not going to take a political kind of tack to this, that's going to just really do what they should, just to make sure we're doing everything properly and by the book, as they will find. Fiavanti told the county legislature's oversight committee yesterday that the monitor will have the authority to veto any decision made by the IDA pertaining to project financial incentives. A Saturday evening crash between a motorcycle and a pickup truck on Route 209 and 3rd Street in the town of Deer Park claimed the life of a Highland Lakes, New Jersey man, state police said. When police arrived on the scene, they found a 2000 Harley-Davidson motorcycle underneath a 2013 Toyota Tundra. The operator of the motorcycle, 54-year-old David Kastner, was receiving medical attention from Cutterback Fire Department medics, Port Jervis Ambulance CMS, and Port Jervis Police. He was transported by Port Jervis Ambulance to Garnett Health Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead. Troopers said preliminary investigation revealed the driver of the Tundra was making a left turn on Route 209 traveling north as the driver was turning. The motorcycle, traveling south on Route 209, was making a left turn in front of the pickup truck. Castor was ejected from the motorcycle. The incident remains under investigation. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. A 21-year-old Port Jervis man pled guilty in Orange County Court yesterday to criminal possession of a weapon after an investigation found he had manufactured ghost guns with a 3D printer in his home. When sentenced in October, Noah James McCagg faces up to 10 years in state prison and five years of post-release supervision. The Orange County Drug Task Force and Port Jervis Police were conducting a narcotics investigation when they chased McCagg on March 25th in Port Jervis. They recovered a loaded 9mm pistol and arrested him. Investigation revealed he had created the gun inside his Prospect Street residence using a 3D printer where they also confiscated several other ghost guns, ammunition, and brass knuckles, says District Attorney David Hoovler. Removing him from the street is a major accomplishment for law enforcement in Orange County and a major accomplishment for our narcotics and drug task force. Assisting in the investigation with the Sheriff's Office Special Operations Group and Town of Deer Park Police. The Orange County Sheriff's Office Monday said it stands with the Jewish community during recent outrageous prejudice behavior. The comments from the sheriff's office come 
following an anti-Semitic sign being posted on a lawn in Blooming Grove recently. In a statement from Sheriff Paul Arteta, he said the bias and demonization of our neighbors, rooted in ignorance and insecurity, has no place in civil society. A golfer at the Putnam County Golf Course in Mayapack has been charged with animal cruelty for beating a Canada goose to death at the 14th hole. State Department of Environmental Conservation Police and Putnam County SPCA law enforcement detectives interviewed staff and witnesses at the golf course. The witnesses told authorities the goose was struck and dazed by a golf ball. A golfer on the 14th hole, later identified as Enrico Sarli of Carmel, allegedly struck the goose several times with his club, walked away and then noticed the goose was still moving, came back and struck it again, killing it. Sarli was issued a summons for his alleged violation of environmental conservation law. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.